News 46, local coverage you can count on. Partners Medical Group. Our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Can I give you just a quick little summary of what we got here? You want us with you? No, no. <laughs> or behind you? Behind, okay. Right there, right where you are. <laughs> don't get too close to me. I don't, Talk I don't. to me. I'm kind of the camera. <laughs> Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Richard Steinke. I am the CEO and President of Windsail Receptor. Uh, I started looking at this technology about seven years ago and uh, I was asked to actually do a paper on wind, uh, windmills. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, the guy paid me some money to do so and my conclusion was um, that the windmills today are about 20% efficient and that the materials of the blades are not conducive to really windmills. And uh, with that, uh, I was in, in a conference and there was about uh, 500 people in that conference and uh, about 490 booed me. I, I then asked the question, one question, all comes down to economics, people. So I asked one question, and the question was, what's the efficiency? Uh, of course, uh, the, there, there was no answer at that time, and then I told them the efficiency is about 20%. With that, uh, this guy named Peter to the podium, I stepped to the side, and he actually installed the units in Europe and actually maintained them, his company. They were one of the largest companies over there. Um, doing the maintenance and, and work on it. He validated what I said, only he said it wasn't at that time 20% uh, uh, efficient, they were 15. With that, I came up with an idea. I came back to the United States. Uh, what I've done the past uh, 39 years is uh, polyurethane polymer development. Uh, we did the roller skate wheel, skateboard wheel, roller blade wheels, over 40, uh, 50 products that uh, we put into the marketplace. I ran a research center in Southern California for over 15 years and we invented products. That's what we did. So with that, I knew I had the answer to the blades, but the design of the blade was the key component. If the blades make noise like they do today, that means you have friction and therefore it's not the correct design. So what I did was I had an idea, I looked at the pinwheel, pinwheel makes a lot of noise. You have a lot of RPMs, but no torque. The answer was, do a design that create torque. So I came, I actually spent my weekends at a park with my son, and while he was playing sports, I was designing the windmill. It took me two years and 52 different iterations to come up with this. When I finished, it looked like a wind sail, so I called the company wind sail receptor. Why? It receives the wind. So it's very important that a windmill receives the wind and works with the wind. You have no noise. So this unit makes no noise, none, zero. And so it works perfectly with the wind. Okay, also it captures almost all the motive forces of the wind. This is four blades. So at four blades we have run testing in which people will get copies of. We are around 65 to 70 percent efficient with four blades. Just last week we ran eight blades. We were over 80 percent efficient. The answer is, but I have to have generators to match it. So, uh, and with six blades, we're going to be at around 95 percent efficient. We'll cover the whole wind pattern. It'll work with the wind. Okay, what's the second key component? It's the generator. The day, today, the generators are not designed correctly really for the windmills. When you start at 60, 80, and higher RPM, you got to put speed increasers on the, on the things to do the job. That's not correct to do. What you need to do is have the generator, especially with us, since we have so much torque, we got to have the loading of the generator behind the torque numbers. By that, it pushes 
the uh, uh, um, the uh, uh, power out outlay much more quickly and very smoothly. We start at a couple miles an hour. The existing technology starts at 15. At 30, 40, we're just getting started. We can run 50, 60 mile per hour winds smoothly. And that means we don't have friction. So without friction, no noise, and with uh, this kind of uh, efficiency, because we're capturing all the motor forces of the wind and we're turning it into energy. So when you take a look at the chart of potential energy uh, uh, that's within the circumference of a certain uh, diameter, what the goal is, is to capture over 90% of that. That's the key. So when you do that, you have truly a functional windmill. And today, this is, that'll, this will do the job. Uh, it's going to create uh, a low uh, kilowatt uh, uh, costings, and that's what you want. Uh, if, you, if you go the other way with existing technology, you know, people after a while just say, hey, it doesn't work. How many more are we going to build? So with this here, it, you're going to be uh, functional. Uh, the markets certainly are where the United States is about 5% of the market. When I started creating this, I, needed, I knew I needed to create something that was functional, built stocky, uh, that can do the job, especially in developing countries, because they don't have the extra money to make mistakes with. So this was designed really for the whole world, and uh, this can function in about 90% uh, of the land masses because it starts uh, so low, and that's what you want. So in high wind areas, it's going to do the job, create more uh, uh, kilowatts, and in low, it's going to hit the numbers that it needs, and that is 90% efficiency. So the material of this blade is polyurethane, uh, much better than a fiberglass composite. Fiberglass composite uh, is made, actually, the blades are made with the most dangerous chemicals in the world because they're adhesives. So you don't want that. It's not environmentally friendly. This is 100% environmentally friendly in manufacturing. No fumes come off of it in manufacturing, in usage, and also in uh, recycling. We take a look at this piece here. The, these are 45 bullets, 45 caliber bullets hitting this. This is only a 3 16 of an inch thick. If I made this a half inch thick, it wouldn't go through. This here is even a little smaller, a little over an eighth, and this is a, an AK-47 bullet going through that. So almost nothing. So in uh, uh, Africa and a lot of these uh, Middle East countries and stuff like that, when they put up these windmills, they're being shot at. This is the, this will be the result. They can still function. So this, is, this technology is so, um, I believe, superior to the existing technology because it's fundamentally sound in economics. And that's what it has to come down. In fact, that was my degree in college, uh, was economics and political science. So I got into the scientific field at the age of uh, 29 to 30. I'm 69 now, so I have about 40 years of experience of putting polymers together correctly and safely. So the usage is, uh, it's wide. Uh, the materials that we use can go in many applications and uh, we're working uh, using the, these same materials in different applications. So whenever we invent something, it's for more than one thing. So thanks for coming. I'm glad that uh, we had such a great turnout. Uh, we've been testing this unit uh, for a couple of years now, changing just the generators because our output becomes increasingly larger. This is a six kilowatt. Within about uh, three weeks, we'll have, uh, um, in fact, less than that, in two weeks, we'll have a, a, about a nine kilowatt on it. But uh, when we go into the big time in the marketplace in four to six months, this six foot unit will have a 10 kilowatt unit on it. Uh, oh, uh, American company, Finally, you know, I've been building all these generators overseas because I've spent about uh, six, seven hundred thousand dollars with four American companies to do this technology, and not one of them even passed the first part of the test. But uh, I've got uh, three different generators coming from overseas: one from uh, Italy, which we just received, 
one from China, and this one on here is from India, although the, the guy's an American over in India. But finally, a major corporation called me yesterday and said they'll build the genera generator how we would like to have it built. And so uh, they're going to be coming here next week. I'm going to give them the, the plans on how to do it. And we feel that uh, uh, certainly then we'll start building maybe some of these in America also. So I would like to have, uh, I went all over, you guys, I really tried to get the Americans to actually start the generator at one, not at 80. And by doing it, it changed the whole course. It changed us and, and the reception of our technology and it really boosts out the uh, energy output. So with that, I think what we do is uh, we'll go with maybe in two groups. We got some vehicles here. We're gonna take this thing and put it on the road. We will follow it. Those who have uh, done it before, please, wait and, and let these other people uh, take the ride and see how it actually performs. Uh, we actually, we have a, a equipment called Adrenus equipment, testing equipment. That equipment records everything. So there's no baloney about it. You'll be able to see exactly what it performs, see the wavelength, everything. So, uh, and another great thing about this thing, when we create energy, it's actually perfect energy. It's a power factor of one and we hit it on every test. So this is, uh, this is truly the correct technology. Uh, as I say before, whatever product I do, my goal is 100%, not 30, okay? So let's... This is my vehicle up here, and then the second vehicle here, and then this will take off and go, we'll follow it, and you can see the performance. Then we'll come uh, back and maybe have to take a second group. And then after that, uh, we can, I'll answer any questions you have. Okay?